Hey everyone, welcome to a new video and we have Easter events. So today I'm going to give you a quick rundown on the events that are going on since we have like two events going on right now. And also a quick review on the Pokemons that are available on the events. Starting off we have a new code, let's go over here and redeem the code EXCITED. <laughs> oh, oh, wait, I did not know, I had no idea what the code was. It's a shiny Blissey! Look at this beauty. Shiny Mega Blissey, 165 special defense, 255 HP and 135 special attack. She's slow, yes, but against special Pokemon she takes no damage. You could try to play this Pokemon, but technically in order to actually play her and be annoying with her, you would need some TMs like Toxic and whatever, so she can get a little bit expensive to build. Let's start first of all with the event that we already know. So it's the Epic Easter event, it's the same old style of events that we already know. We have Arceus, we have Komoho, and we also have have Zygarde 10% available. But the amazing part this time is that the events last for one entire week, which means look at all the resources that you will be able to claim during the week. I'm excited. I'm excited because it's a whole week of, I don't know, free stuff for a lot of people. Also good stuff for the ones who want to recharge. And I'll be honest, I would not get myself the shiny Zygarde. It's a shiny though, so technically if you are VIP 0, uh, that's the only thing you would get the shiny Zygarde. So technically if you ever want the shiny Zygarde, this, yours, this is your only way, it's your only chance. But the problem is, you will need to use all, but all the resources that you get during the 7 days into getting the shiny Zygarde. Which, well, could not be the best thing. They could be exchanged into sandbags, into essence, into any other things if that you need. But, uh, well, that's your, that's your call now. Related to Arcus, we already know. He's a tanky boy with 120 HP, 120 on every all the stats, and he can even get a Mega. So it's a very annoying Pokemon to deal with the late game because it's hard to kill. But you also might need some plates to actually be able to play Arceus. And the only way you get plates is with also a recharge, which is down here. This one, Creation Plate Pack. Yes, 55 coupons. There's also Komoho available over here as a recharge with 108 coupons. I personally don't think he's worth the 108 coupons. You can even just recharge and get something else other th than the Komoho. But if you just get it by any chance, I mean, uh, look at those defenses, look at those, that attack. He also has access to Source Dance if you need, or even Dragon Dance over here naturally. Could be an interesting Pokemon to play, but I would honestly not uh, exchange it over here on the event. But of course, as usual, in order to get those items, what do you do? You get them on the maps you get them on the adventure now the blitz feature is slow right now i already clicked on the 10x it is actually slow that's because there's a lot of events going on at the same time and the game doesn't seem to be optimized for android in order to deal with those events there's like a lot of items dropping and not just that it's also double drop and guess what the double drop lasts for seven days and those different items that we're dropping are over here for this Easter event. I, I know it says uh, Lunar New Year. Uh, it's, a, it's the same thing. It's the same type of event that we had on a Lunar New Year, but well, it's Easter version. And let's go and check it out. So we have actually exactly the same items. So these are the items that I got extra from the Lunar New Year event. And I can basically just use them over here. I don't even need to raid. Look at that, I have like so many items still from like the previous event, it's awesome. And just to give you a quick rundown on what is going on. So first of all, we have some free items over here, Easter dinner. On the Easter dinner, you can actually select multiple dinners. Each dinner, if you tap it and you go over here to the price, you can see which reward you get in return. In order to get the reward, you need to fill this bar up to 1000, which you get with these items over here. And these items, these foods can be obtained just from, well, blitzing maps. As we saw a while ago, even though it's super slow right now, you can get holiday coins and those foods from over here blitzing any of the adventure maps. And as you can see from this event, you also get this new item over here. And all the three events like Easter Dinner, Egg Hunt and Easter Wishes also reward you with this item. But 
But basically they are event points and those event points you can go over here to the rewards and there's the points rewards which whenever you achieve the, this amount of points from over here you can claim some extra rewards for yourself and then there's the points ranking look at this we have hoopas we have zekroms but sadly well we have landeros again hoopa 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 the first hoopa in existence we will take a look at hoopa in a bit Oh yeah, remember that we have free stuff going on over here, so in like 5 hours you can claim, I believe it was diamonds or something like that. But going to the second event, Egg Hunt. Over here, well, you just collect some eggs. Well, can I click this? What is going on? No, it's not clickable. <laughs> we can collect some eggs and once you have 10 eggs, you can claim some rewards. As you can see, there are two types of eggs and two types of rewards. Just collecting 10 normal eggs gives you 50 points and just collecting one of the different eggs gives you 300 points and 88 of those items and 888 diamonds. Now, the normal eggs, you win with missions, right? Every day, you have missions over here. These are daily missions. They will reset every day and you have a lot but a lot of missions that you need to complete every day. So that's one way of getting eggs. What about the other egg? The other egg is from the limited bundles. It's quite an expensive egg, okay? It's $100 for one egg, but you will get like all of these items in return. And not just that, the people who are going for that specific egg hunt, it's because they are rewarded with points, which will contribute over here to the rankings of Hoopa. About the last event, Easter Wishes. Basically, you just need to collect some cards. We have, what is this? Azumarill, we have Togepi, we have something, and we have something. I cannot see who are those. This is Cinderace, but I am not recognizing who is this. And the way that you get cards for this game mode is, again, win held items, which is not technically held items. It's, I also call it held items on videos by accident. But we have Arena, Master League, Cross Server, and Platinum Strategy. Each time that you win, you have like, I don't know, an 80% chance of dropping these items, at least according to the previous event. And keeping in mind that those are the, all the daily drops that you can obtain, so technically you can get all those drops every day. Those are all the events explained. If you guys have any other questions, just let me know on Discord or on the comments section below. But let's do a quick review over here on Zekrom and Hoopa. Now, Zekrom, Zekrom. We will not look at the shiny form. We will just look at, uh, let's just say the normal form. If we go at the shiny form, what do we have? 190 attack. The normal form has 170 and it's already damn nice. The good thing about a lot of mega legendaries, so fake megas in this game, it's that they have their own ability. If we go over here and take a look, we have Thunderfield. It has no description. But if I remember correctly, the Thunderfield will increase your electric moves by 50%. Now, look at him. 110 speed, it's not the fastest, but it has a decent amount of attack. Now, imagine all of that attack combined with a Bolt Strike. It has 85% accuracy, so it's not 100% accurate, but 130 power with 170 attack combined with the ability, it would actually just do a lot of damage, hopefully. At least that's what I'm assuming because I don't have the Pokemon myself to test, but look at this, Thunderland, lasts for 5 turns, the probability of paralyzing Pokemons is doubled, and it will boost the power of electric type moves by 50%. But now let's go to our boy, Mr. Poopa. Mr. Hoopa. Now, why do I like this Pokemon so much? First of all, it has a crazy 190 special attack, 180 attack, but sadly, it has 80 speed. For some people, this ends up being a deal breaker. Like, a lot of people don't enjoy that their Pokemon do not have speed. But this is where it gets interesting. In this game, since it's a fake Mega and it's also a legendary, actually this Pokemon also gets its own ability. And it's actually a custom ability just for him, Fraudster. Of course, if you have 80 speed, you are not going to move first. Unless you have Fraudster. Fraudster, aka Falling Field, because some of the abilities have different names across different places. So basically what it does is when you enter the battle with Hoopa, it will activate a Trick Room for 5 turns. Trick Room basically inverts the speed of the battles, so if your Pokemon is slower, it will move first. I would love to get this Pokemon for myself one day, because well, with the Fraudster ability, it actually makes like makes you able to play other Pokemon that 
you would probably not play otherwise. I can give you guys an example over here, which is shiny Mega Conkeldor. So it's cheap to build, it's easy to find, easy to obtain. And the good thing is, while well, it's 45 speed, so with a trick room, he would move first. 125 defense, not bad. And then 190 attack. 190 attack and it has access to something like guts which will just increase his attack even further and Conkeldor would just be an example pretty sure there's a lot of slow pokemon who would enjoy to play alongside the hoopa so good luck to every whale who decides to go and rush for the hoopa and we hope to see some interesting hoopas going on on the game well, this is all from me today. I'll chill over here with the boys. And if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff. And I'll see you guys on the next video.